Today I'm gonna to show you how to create the 3D photo viral TikTok trend in just minutes using only your iPhone. Hey, what's going on? My name is Peter Sorellis. I'm a videographer and editor from Toronto, Canada. I specialize in sports videography. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can easily create the 3D viral TikTok trend that's been like taking over Instagram reels and stuff super simply on your phone in just a couple of minutes. So the app that you need is called CapCut. You can get it on the App Store. It's just like a very basic video editor. Hop into this and they prompt you to like open this new project. So just click new project, photos, grab whatever photos you want. And this is the point where you wanna grab all the photos that you wanna use for the 3D photo effect. I'm just gonna grab two or three photos as an example. But when you're doing this, if you wanna grab like 10 photos, grab all 10. And it's a very repetitive process. So I'm just gonna grab a few photos like this. Let's just go with these two for now. I'll add these to this new project that we're creating in the CapCut app. And when this loads up, you can see that it populates all the photos that we have here on a timeline. So now we just have these two. So you click on the photo that you want and then you get these little effect things at the bottom you can choose. So we're gonna go to style, click style, click 3D zoom. This is going to automatically do that 3D zoom, 3D photo effect without you having to really do any work. You just tap on it and it starts generating the 3D zoom effect. I love it because this is so much faster than having to like bring your photo into Photoshop, separate it into layers, bring it into After Effects and then animate everything, which would, is normally like a bit of a lengthier process. And although you don't get as much freedom to choose what you want, and when you export it, it is a little bit compressed. Like I just did that in like 20 seconds. And this was something that could take me like 30 minutes or something on the computer. So I think it's well worth the time. And you can see if I play it back, it plays back like a normal 3D photo. We'll do it again to this next photo, click 3D zoom. It just generates the 3D zoom effect and I'll show you again how it works. But anyways, here's the last 3D photo effect. You can see that it created it. So now we're gonna export all of our 3D photos. Just tap this little button up in the top right corner and it'll automatically start to export. And that saves to your camera roll. So once you export your 3D photo out of CapCut, you're gonna bring it into Premiere or you can use like Premiere Rush on your phone or you can even use the CapCut app if you want. This is like really simple editing, but I'm assuming most people on this channel have Premiere because I do a lot of Premiere tutorials. So we're gonna use Premiere Pro for this. You grab the video file that populates all your 3D photos, drag it onto your timeline, and you're gonna right click and click scene edit detection. Make sure that you have the apply cut at each detected cut point selected and all the other boxes unselected and click analyze. And this is gonna chop up all your 3D photos so that you get them all cut into individual clips and you don't need to go through and manually find the cut points. So when this ends, then you're going to have your 10 photos or whatever else you decided to like do in the CapCut app to animate all out like this. And if you play through, you can see that we have the 3D photos going, but they're kind of slow and there's a little bit of a pause at the end of each of them. So to fix this, we're gonna grab whichever photo we want first. Let's say we want this one first. We'll just unlink these and delete all the audio because we don't need this empty audio track. We'll grab this first clip here. We're gonna bring it onto our timeline. You can see I've added markers already for the beat of this song that I wanna cut this to. And we're gonna grab the rate stretch tool by clicking R. And you're just gonna to wanna to dial this back. I like to make the speed around 200 to 300%. When you're using the rate stretch tool, you're shortening your clip by speeding up the frames that are available, not by actually cutting frames off like you would if you were just dragging it back regularly. So that's why I like using the rate stretch tool for this. You can really dial in how long you want your clip to be. So here, this is 230% speed now, so I think that's good. We'll place a cut at the marker and we'll just get rid of it. And if your clip isn't already a nine by 16 format for TikTok or Instagram Reels, then you just need to go to the scale here under the effect control panel and scale it up. And you can see when I play this back, it does the 3D photo. So we're just gonna do this for a couple more photos to show you how this works. We'll drag this one on next. And we're gonna do the same thing, just put it at the end of the last clip, rate stretch tool, drag it into somewhere between like 200 and 300%, maybe like, yeah, that's fine, 272. Place our cut and put it at the next marker. And then of course we wanna scale this up to fill the frame. Just like that is fine. Move it over a little. I'll show you one more. We're just gonna grab a random clip here. Let's just do this one. And we will stretch this out. That's a little fast, but I think it'll be all right. We'll cut it at the marker and then scale this up just like that. And now if you play this back, you can see that we get our little 3D photo effect. And I already did it with all of the clips. So let me just show you what this looks like when you've done this for every single clip. You should end up after putting all the clips on the timeline and speed ramping them appropriately, get something like this. That's how you can easily create the 3D photo viral TikTok trend using just your phone and if you want Premiere. But if you're just speeding up clips and cutting them to music, you can certainly do that in the CapCut app on Premiere Rush and LumaFusion or any other phone video editor that you might have. 
Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. If you liked it, then please make sure to subscribe to the channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos like this one on a regular basis and I'd love to have you around for those. And if you have any questions, concerns, there's something that you didn't really get in this video or I was talking too fast, I have been accused of that a couple times. And leave your questions down in the comments and I will get back to you as fast as I can and answer any concerns you might have. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. So until next time, peace.